Hello and welcome back to the Vegan Cook's Passport, where I aim to cook a vegan version of every national dish in the world. So after a bit of a break, I'm back to start with all the countries that start with B. And the first country is the Bahamas. If you don't know where the Bahamas is, take a little look on this map. The Commonwealth of the Bahamas is a nation that can be found in the West Indies, in this part of the Caribbean here, just off the coast of Miami. It's made up of 700 different islands, and the capital Nassau is found on this island here. It's a former British colony. A lot of the inhabitants can be traced back to the transatlantic slave trade. So a lot of the food is influenced heavily by a West African cuisine. It's also famous for its rum production. So the national dish of the Bahamas is conch. So conch turns out to be a sea snail. A little bit daunting at first to make a vegan version of a sea snail. Um, never tried sea snail. Uh, never been offered sea snail. No idea what it tastes like. But after a little bit of research, turns out that it's not too dissimilar to calamari. Uh, there's obviously going to be some differences, but that's probably the closest I can get to uh, of something that I could sort of relate to, I suppose. So what I've done is I've tried to create something which is uh, similar to a vegan version of calamari. Um, the ingredient I'm going to use in this is oyster mushrooms. Now, mushrooms is something I use a lot in my recipes. Oyster mushrooms is perfect for if you want to do uh, this dish or a, a vegan calamari for your friends. Um, you can just rip oyster mushrooms really easily, just like this. Form them into any sort of size you like. In the Bahamas, they prepare conch in a number of different ways. It can be raw, fresh from the sea, um, cooked in a salad, grilled. Probably the most popular way of doing it is called cracked conch. That's where they sort of bash it about a bit once you take it out of the shell. And then they uh, bread it and deep fry it just like you would calamari. So that's how we're going to do it today. It's probably the easiest way to do it as well and make it taste a little bit like the original dish. Now, I'm using um, another ingredient which you don't have to use, but I think if you want it to taste uh, a bit like the sea, then it is good to use this. Um, these are seaweed flakes. I got these from a local um, Asian grocery. Uh, you could also use seaweed powder. Um, if you're going to use seaweed powder, though, Probably uh, don't use as much as I'm going to use of the flakes because I think the powder will be a little bit stronger, but it's going to give a really nice salty and sea taste to the dish. So in the Bahamas, they often just eat conch on its own, but a lot of times it's accompanied with peas and rice. Now, peas and rice isn't just peas and rice. There's a lot more going on there. There's some lovely vegetables they use. They use, I'm going to use some coconut milk and coconut water. Uh, it's going to be delicious. Now, peas and rice shouldn't be confused with the Jamaican rice and peas, even though obviously they sound very similar. The Jamaican version is lighter. It's made with kidney beans instead of the pigeon peas or green peas we're going to be using today. A staple ingredient in the version from the Bahamas is uh, diced ham or bacon. Now, obviously, we're not using any of that. What I am using to give a little bit of that sort of meaty smokiness to the, to the dish is a bit of liquid smoke. Um, quite easily available. You don't need much of it. It gives a lovely little smoky touch to the dish. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll give a wine pairing suggestion. But for now, let's crack on with a crack conch. Heat some olive oil in a pan over a medium to low heat. Then add one diced onion, and one diced green capsicum. Fry for 10 minutes, then add one tablespoon of tomato paste, two tablespoons of chopped fresh thyme, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one cup of split green peas, and two cups of washed brown rice. Add in a few pinches of salt, Fry for three minutes, then add three cups of coconut water and one can of coconut milk. Bring to a simmer, pop the lid on and cook for 40 minutes. Check to see the peas are cooked through. 
then put to the side for later. Now on to the main attraction, the conch. Take a mixing bowl and add half a cup of chickpea flour, half a teaspoon of Kalanamax salt, a grind of pepper, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of seaweed flakes, and the zest of one lemon. Add to that half a cup of water and mix with a whisk to form a smooth batter. Add 150 grams of oyster mushrooms torn into strips and mix into the batter with your hands. Place the mushrooms alongside one cup of panko breadcrumbs and three centimeters of canola oil in a pan over a high heat. When the oil is hot, dredge the mushrooms in the breadcrumbs and add to the pan. Repeat this process with the other pieces, but take care not to overcrowd the pan. Fry each piece for two minutes, then flip over and fry for another two minutes or until crispy and golden brown. Remove from the pan, squeeze over some fresh lemon and serve hot with the peas and rice. All right, here we go. Um, vegan crap conched from the Bahamas with uh, peas and rice. Let's give it a go. Squeeze on a little bit of lime. Lemon, sorry. A little bit more. There we go. So it looks lovely and crunchy. Oh, yeah. Oh, amazing crunch. You get a little bit of the seaweed flavor. I reckon you could put a little, little bit more seaweed flakes in if you wanted it to taste a bit more salty and a bit more sort of sea-like, if you like. Try the uh, peas and rice. Mmm, very creamy. The coconut milk and the coconut water just makes it a really nice sort of creamy dish. It's really important to have the lemon juice there because like you've got sort of quite an oily fried food plus quite a creamy rice and peas dish. So you need that acidity, which brings me neatly on to what uh, wine you should maybe drink with this. Um, beer would be really good th with this, but if you want to go for wine, um, I think you should need something with high acidity, white wine I'd say, high acidity, um, but something with enough sort of complexity and maybe a bit of nuttiness to go with the creaminess of the of the rice and peas. So I'm going to go with uh, Chablis from France. So that's uh, Chardonnay from the region called Chablis, where they don't generally oak their Chardonnays much. They're quite lean, high, high acidity, very refreshing, but they still usually got a nice bit of uh, complexity as well. This was awesome. I'm happy to be back cooking. The bee countries look like they're going to be amazing. Catch my next video where I'll be cooking a vegan version of the national dish of Bahrain. See you later. <laughs>